These are five facts about the Water Tribe that you probably didn't know. Number five, the village that Katara and Sokka were born in is actually called Wolf Cove. The city in Legend of Korra is Wolf Cove after 70 years of reconstruction efforts. Number four, despite Aang mentioning having visited both the Earth Kingdom and the Fire Nations prior to the Air Nomad genocide, he never mentions having visited either Water Tribe before he meets Katara and Sokka. Number three, the Water Tribes are culturally inspired by the Inuit and Yupik people, and the use of betrothal necklaces is similar to Maori tradition. Sokka's boomerang may be a reference to Aboriginal Australians, however boomerangs are also found in a wide range of cultures outside of Australia. Number two, although Korra was born in the Southern Water Tribe, her father was originally part of the Northern Water Tribe's royal family. This means by the end of book two, the Southern Water Tribe's chief was from the North despite having been elected after they gained independence. And number one, after Korra came out as bisexual, younger members of the Northern Water Tribe began to oppose arranged marriages, and Desna and Eska even made a decree to legalize same-sex marriage.